this video, I'm gonna show you how to add fog in Lightroom Classic with the latest version to go from a very boring photo like this to an amazing black and white that you can sell in gallery. And at the end, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a portrait. It's incredible. Make sure you watch till the end. Bonjour, my name is Mr. My name is Serge Romani. I am a French photographer from the amazing, the incredible city of Paris. And I like to make one or two tutorials a week. So let's start with this photo from Yosemite, California. I shot this years ago. It's a bit of a long exposure. And I wanted to make it special in black and white, but I wanted to add some fog. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the develop module and we're going to turn it into a black and white. So we click on black and white. Boom, we got a black and white. But then let's do a little bit of retouching. So I have the fog in mind. You know, I've seen a lot of photos of tunnel view. This is tunnel view, uh, one of the nicest view in the USA. And there's often fog over the tree. So I want to try to do that. So let's open the shadow a little bit so that we discover a little bit the valley. Let's bring down some of the highlights. We get more details in the sky. And we're going to do, we're just going to move the black point here a little bit and the white one. And by the way, if you want to take amazing award-winning cityscape and landscape photos, I have a book called Photography Essential. It took me 10 years to write. You can get the ebook version for free. The link is under the video. It's going to give you the whole workflow on how you can get amazing landscapes. Okay, so now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start bringing in some fog. And for this, it's very simple. I'm just going to go here to the local adjustment. Et oui, mesdames et messieurs. And I'm going to take the radial gradient and I'm going to make a big radial gradient. I want the fog to be over here. So for now it's in red, which is fine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the magic slider, which is dehaze. Now be careful when you're here, you want the dehaze that is right here. If you keep going down, you're gonna go into the global adjustments and then you're gonna add dehaze everywhere. I made that mistake many times while preparing this video. So I'm guessing if I do it, it will happen to you also. And then we do a little bit of dehaze like that. So, and the whole idea is just to add fog in the valley, but that's not all. We need to enhance it a little bit. I want to put it very low here in the valley. Uh, one little trick here you see that I love to do is you can put this at 25%. And so you can move this like this and you can, if you click one time, uh, if you click here, sorry, if you click fit here or 25%, you can see it's good to look at it from far and see, and we can always change it after. But first, I just want a bit of fog here over the tree. And then I think I'm gonna crop this photo a little bit because uh, there's too much sky. So let's crop the photo a little bit. Let's go 16 by nine. You know, next to the lock, you can go 16 by nine. Let's go like this, a little less cloud. Perfecto. And then I wanna, but I wanna enhance this fog. So first, let's go back here to the mask. And this is a really cool trick. You can click here and you can click add a brush, okay? Now, that brush is just gonna add that fog value everywhere, but here's the master trick. If you go flow and density very strong and you paint, let's say here a little bit, you're gonna add fog here, okay, very strongly. But then if you lower the flow and density and you paint just a little bit here, it's gonna be very subtle. So every time you, you do a brush stroke, do a different flow and density, like very low, so it's very subtle. Maybe let's just add a bit of fog here. Well, okay, nothing's happening, so. Let's go a little, strong, a little fog here, but not here. Fog is very random. This one is not so random. So let's break, uh, let's just add a little bit here, a little bit there. But then you can also do the opposite. You can subtract the brush. Hey, hey, hey. And now you're like, oh yeah, but there's, let's take some here out. And same thing, play with flow and density to take a little bit out here or a lot uh, more and maybe a little bit more here. Well, that's too much. Command Z to undo. So let's lower the flow and density and let's take a little bit out here, but not so much. And by doing that, you're sort of randomizing a little bit more the fog. And check this out, before and after. It's kind of cool. And what you can do also, this whole mask has a new slider, which is the amount slider. So the amount slider is how much fog there is on this one mask. So you can see before and after, but you can also go here, less fog, more fog, less fog. So I think I'm just put, gonna put a little less fog so it's a little more subtle, but check this out, before and after. But I wanna enhance it even more. So I'm gonna go here and add a little linear gradient because by darkening the top of the photo, two things are gonna happen. I'm gonna make the photo, I'm gonna make people look more inside of the photo and it's gonna put more attention on the fog. And I think I wanna darken maybe the corners a little bit. So that corner here, a little bit, a little bit darken, and that corner. Again, we want to focus the eye of the viewer just on the fog. And you can see here, 
uh, this is before the fox, fox lighter. This is before the fog mask. This is before the top, before the bottom. Okay, I gotta clean up that image. Let's take generative AI out. Got a couple of sensor dust. All right, so that's taken care of. I really love the photo. And then you can go either like lower the overall contrast on the photo and maybe crush the blacks. I kind of like that, look at that. This is the before. And this is the final result, pretty cool. So now let's say you got somebody like me. This is a portrait I shot in Iceland. Uh, someone shot this of me. I wanna add fog if there was fog over the water. So same thing, let's add a radial gradient here over the water, over the water. And by the way, if you wanna find your voice as a photographer, like really have a strong style, I have a whole workflow uh, using the natural drama formula. The video is under, watch this, it's gonna change your life. Okay, so now, I got this and I'm gonna do same thing. I'm just gonna add, make sure you get the first one, dehaze, not the second one. This one here, okay. So that's kind of cool, but now it's really all over me and I wanna subtract myself from the haze. So three dot, no. So subtract, person, select people. Click on me, entire person, create mask. And now I've been subtracted by the fog. And by the way, the AI, you see if I move the circle around, it's gonna, in real time, it's gonna subtract me uh, from uh, the fog. So I just wanna fog over the water kind of thing. But same thing, to make it look realistic, we have to add some brush strokes. So add brush strokes, and that's the master trick. Just play with flow and density. So you wanna add a little bit of fog over me, like maybe just a little tad here, just a little tad here. Maybe let's go a little stronger. Yeah, just a little tag here. Uh, let's add a little more here, uh, just here, here, and maybe here, just so that it's a little more random. And then let's subtract. It's very important you do that. It's, and then let's subtract a little bit of fog here. Well, that's too much. Command Z, and just play around with flow and density of the brush. Subtract, brush, flow and density lower. I'm just gonna subtract a little bit of fog here and here just to make it a little more random. And let's see, before, after, I, I kind of like it. And then the final touch is just go into the amount here, less fog, more fog. And you see, and it's gonna, it's gonna do it with the brush stroke. Look at that, before, after. Also, I've opened a few spots. If you wanna to talk to me to see if I can really help you to become an award-winning photo, the link is under the video. I hope you enjoyed this and make sure you subscribe because I have a new video coming out that's crazy. Merci beaucoup, mesdames et messieurs. See you in the next one.